Good morning everyone! We shall see in this video how to make a photorealistic image with the Blender add-on Transportation. Open the Transportation tab in the Viewpoint with the N key on the keyboard and select the vehicle of your choice. Click on Add Vehicle. I will remove the cube and the lamp and switch to Camera View. We will now add a HDRI. I choose Autumn Road. Click on Add HDRI and immediately switch to Render Mode to see it in the background. Let's now add a backplate, a background image that I will select from the list. Then click on Add Background. Now we'll have to match the car with the camera for a perfect integration. I think the focal length of the picture is 28mm. I will enter this value in the camera settings. Now we have to position the camera such that the car seems to be on the ground. The photo was taken at man height. I will lower the camera to align it with the car. I'm going to orientate it and bring it closer while ensuring that the car is properly positioned. One tip is to hide the car with the shortcut H on the keyboard. In top view, we will add a shot that I will lengthen, then position it at ground level. This way, I will be able to simulate my road and see if my camera is properly positioned. I will orientate it properly and enlarge the shot. I see that it is not aligned with the road, so I have to reposition my camera. The result is better, but not perfect. The shot is parallel on one side, but not on the other. The tilt of my camera is not good. The work is a bit long, but it allows a perfect integration. Okay, the camera is now set up. The shot is parallel on both sides and it follows the road. I can now delete this ground plane and make the vehicle reappear. Alt H. All I have to do now is properly position the car on the road. Don't hesitate to change its size so that it occupies the space on the road. We will now add shadows on the ground to finalize our integration. Click on Add Transparent Shadows at the bottom of the add-on. This option is only compatible with cycles for now. The result is very interesting. In the Dimensions options, we can adjust the ratio of our image and thus create its own framing. Let's look at the HDRI. I disable the backplate, and now I only see the HDRI. I'm going to rotate it to make my backplate picture and my HDRI coincide so that the reflections of the car are coherent. You can see that I have the white line of the road well reflected in the car. We also make sure that the height of the HDRI map corresponds well with our backplate. If it is too low, I won't have the right reflections. If it is too high, it is not good either. We need a good height so that the reflections of the car correspond well. Let's adjust the brightness of the HDRI map. I'll reduce it a bit. Same for the saturation, I'll reduce it. These options only affect the HDRI map and the car reflections, not the backplate. Let's choose a car paint for our car. I'll choose black and add it. But you can select the one you want or create your own color below. The result is quite cool. Don't forget to save our scene. We can render with keyboard shortcut F12. If you have a color difference between the preview and the rendering, it means that your color space is not the right one. Change in the color management options. Check standard instead of filmic. We can now do the post-production of the rendering. In the compositor window, control plus space to enlarge. We can add nodes to adjust the colors and contrast of the car. An S-curve is used to contrast the car. I can also enter the transportation node, tab key, and change the color of the backplate. Add RGB curves to review the background color. Let's also adjust the saturation for a softer rendering. Finally, we can apply overall corrections to our entire image. 
Let's colour the image with the different nodes at our disposal. And here we are, we have designed our first image on transportation in only a few seconds. Enjoy!